Okay, so I'm going to tie up a um, <coughs> an extended body mayfly body uh, for mayfly body this afternoon. I've got a pin already set up in the uh, device here. I'm going to use some Roman Moses Power Silk. This is really nice, slippery silk. I want slippery silk to actually take the uh, the body off the uh, the pin itself. Uh, for the tails, I'm using three moose mane fibres. I've set these up in a hair stacker. Now the length of the uh, the tails wants to be about the length of the body. I've always got a pair of protectors. I've already got a pair of protectors here to set that length up. And then BT Beasties, this is the Ephemera Danica. This is our UK Mayfly. About an inch long, the body on these. Okay, so I've set the... Um, <coughs> Got the, the tails in, set the thread to the back of the uh, of the pin. Now the, the body, the foam, is just a piece of 2mm uh, closed cell foam in cream and I've cut it into a little um, bow tie shape and put a hole through the narrowest part. I can feed that over the pin and it should go over the, uh, the fibres as well. Right the way down, I can pull the fibres out, I can pull this foam back right to the end. I can unwind then our loose threads until I get down to the uh, to the end. Okay, and if I now fold the foam back and hold it along the pin, I can put my first turn in four turns right at the end. Take it underneath around the uh, the pin. Make the first segment. By doing it with the hole through the foam, I find that the uh, the fibres set uh, sit much more centrally at the end of the body. So I'm looking for fairly even segments here. The actual fly has nine segments, but we very rarely get nine segments on a on a body. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Check my length. This is the body length, so I'm probably going to need two more. And one final one. And this time I'll just do one, two wraps around. Take some more silk off. Wrap round, just a couple of turns. Tie off into that groove. Not too tight because you can easily, easily, easily cut through the foam with this power silk. Okay, then taking hold of the body itself, firmly just pull straight off. And there we have the extended foam body. All I need to do now is to put that on the bench and just roll it with my finger, just to take out all of these kinks, and probably put a tiny drop of um, super glue just at the end, just to secure those tail fibres in place. Extended body.